Hi guys, welcome to another Foxtick tutorial. This time we talk about the calendar on a Mac and more specifically, how can you download Google Calendar on the Mac computer? What are the options which you have? What can you do about it? And I would say there are actually three ways how you can get it to work. And I'm gonna display and show every single one of them. So let's begin right now. The very first one is to open up the App Store and get the Google Calendar right there. But the disclaimer is that Google doesn't have an official app for the Google Calendar on Mac. If you just check it out on the App Store where it is available there, but you can see that the App Store only allows you to use it with the iPhone and the iPad, but there is no MacBook app available. So in this case, what you can do, you can still look it up on the App Store on Mac, but there are some apps which are only clients. These are not the official apps. Although you can see G Calendar for a Google Calendar, it appears that it's, it is officially from Google, but it is simply not. Is it a bad app to use? Probably not. It is going to have access to your data, so you should keep that in mind, but it's not going to be probably a bad experience. It's just a third party app, which allows you to use your Google account with. So for example, you have this one right here, which looks kind of normal. You have a dedicated app right here. It costs four bucks. You can go ahead and decide to download it and use it if you want to. So yeah, that would be the first option. By the way, guys, make sure to join my 100% free education platform. I just finished the Rush course video editing. You can go ahead and check it out in the classroom section, 100% free. Go ahead and check it out, no interruptions. Link is gonna be down below in the description. The second option is to use the calendar right inside the web browser. In case you don't even care about it that much, all you have to do is to look up calendar Google in the app store like this i mean in the safari you can just see it right here everything is in here i can go through it like this no problem absolutely so yeah i can just use it within the web browser if i really wanted to i know you probably want to download it but you can still use it you can bookmark that very specific website and you're going to make sure to always have access to it that is the option of the second one as well i personally like this one a lot more because it just makes me more flexible doesn't matter if i use safari or google chrome i can always get there anyways the third option is to use the basic calendar the built-in one from apple you can see there's the calendar right here and if i open it up i have the option to log in with the specific account exactly as i've shown you you can download a third-party calendar client but this is the built-in calendar client so in here if you want to just log in with the other account, just go to the upper left corner, click on a calendar and tap on accounts. So it's going to open up a brand new window and you can see all of the accounts which are inside of your calendar. So what you can do is to add a new one and log in with the Google account that you have. With this way, you're going to be able to add an internet account of Google. So you of course have the calendar associated with that very specific Gmail. So you can always just add it here and all of the information, all of the uh, events are going to be present inside of the Apple calendar there. So that's useful, right? You can always just see all of the events and it's always going to be synced. Of course, it's not the same way as the official Google, so you're gonna like some features. I'm not sure which exactly are gonna be liking, but it's of course not gonna be the same experience. So just keep that in mind, but these are essentially the three methods how you can download Google Calendar on a Mac. And that's about it. That's gonna be the wrap up for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up right now down below. And also make sure that you have clicked the subscribe button. That's really essential. Make sure you do that and we can see each other in the future. Peace out until then.